diagram of a submarine geological rock formation shows where in the formation gas and oil are found. Beneath the sedimentary rock, we find the location of source and reservoir rock. Source rock is where algae and marine organisms generated oil when they were heated substantially. When the temperature rises higher, they generate gas. This continues to be deposited on top of the organically rich rocks. With the additional burial of sediments, temperature rises in the rock. The high temperature converts the organic material into oil, and at significantly higher temperatures, natural gas will form. Here we see a modu or a mobile offshore drilling unit, also known as a production platform. Now let's take a more detailed look at the mobile offshore drilling unit. multiple types of mobile offshore drilling units, including jackups, semi-submersibles, and drill ships. But all of them share these common apparatus used in the drilling process. Here we're drawing the marine riser which extends from the seafloor all the way up to the drilling platform. Below it you see the blowout preventer, as well as the region beneath the seafloor, which contains the drill strings, centralizers, drilling mud, cement, and casing. We'll go into more detail about that later. Here, we're going to take a look at where the drill string enters the seafloor and extends down to the reservoir. What I'm drawing now is the blowout preventer. This serves to equalize pressure at the seafloor and help to prevent the free flow of oil were there any sort of accident. These are the centralizers. Their purpose is to hold the drill string in the center of their casing. The blue arrows show the drilling mud. The function of drilling mud is to create stable pressure and clean the drill bit. The tricone drill bit, which is at the bottom of the drill string, is a funnel through which the mud flows while it drills. Mud composition is altered near the reservoir because it's so deep that there's a lot of radioactivity. When the mud comes back up to the surface, this radioactive material poses a threat to all the workers on the modu and people on shore. The orange lines I've drawn here are the casing. The casing provides the structural support for the drill bit. There are usually three layers, the production layer, intermediate, and surface layer. The green regions in between each layer of casing is representative of cement. The purpose of cement is to provide a hydraulic seal so that oil doesn't seep out into the region surrounding the drill string. It additionally serves as an anchor for all the casing and prevents corrosion. Here's a closer look at that tricone drill bit. Production platforms vary from modus slightly in that they are larger and equipped to process oil on site, as well as being anchored to the seafloor, whereas modus are mobile. Production platforms, like I said, can always process oil on site. Sometimes modus are not able to do so if their primary process is just to extract the oil. Often modus have the ability to do so as well. <laughs> 